Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to rotate a UI label in Xcode with Swift. But before I get started, I just want to say something about Flappy Bird Swift. I am discontinuing that tutorial. If you guys are wondering how to make it, I will leave a link down below to the Udemy course that I took to actually learn how to make it. So you guys can go ahead, check it out, and see if you guys like it. So, but I just had to completely redesign my Flappy Bird Swift tutorial, so... I'm sorry guys, but I had to discontinue it. But without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so to get started, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. Let's create a new Xcode project, and here we're gonna make it a single view application. Our product name, I'm just gonna call mine label rotate, and, we can, and the language will be set, and the Swift and the devices will be set to iPhone. Now click next and create. All right, now let's go ahead and make this as big as we want, and Let's go ahead and go into our main.storyboard. Now go ahead, click on our view controller, and we want to set the size to iPhone 4 inch, and our orientation will be set to portrait. Now let's go ahead and click and drag a label onto our scene, and this is the label that we are going to rotate. So let's go ahead, make it a bit bigger, like so just in case there's any errors whatsoever, and then center it. All right, now let's go ahead and open up our assistant editor and we want to connect this label up with our view controller .swift file and our name we're just going to call this label like so and now in our view did load we want to say label dot transform equals cg affine affine transform make rotation and the angle will be 3.14 all right now let's go ahead, build and run this, and see what happens. Now as you can see, it loaded up, and the label is upside down. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe. If you guys want to know more about me or anything that I do, be sure to check out my website, and also check me out on Twitter down in the social links down below. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next one.